Welcome to the only figure of eight track on the F1 calendar. We're here at Suzuka for qualifying today for the Japanese Grand Prix. With the weather as it is today, Anthony Davidson, we have, to some extent, to throw the form book out of the window. Who do you see having the advantage on this slippery, unpredictable track surface? The trouble is, Crofty, they need to be thinking about the race tomorrow. You don't want to go jacking up the ride heights and piling on a few points of extra downforce that you're not going to want in the Grand Prix itself. The Parc Ferme regulations mean that you have to make that choice. The best thing the drivers can do is adapt with the tools they have available in the cockpit. Moving the brake bias forward will help stop the rear end slipping out under braking, and opening up the differential can really help tame the oversteer on corner exit. The drivers that can make best use of these techniques will have the best chance for success here today. Hey guys and welcome back to some more F1 2019 and part 18 of season 1 of our Haas career mode. In today's episode we uh, are taking part in the Japanese Grand Prix. It is wet out there uh, which is going to be interesting for the start of this session. Uh, it seems like it is going to be rainy throughout. Um, uh, throughout this session um, but then should ease off a little bit uh, towards the end of Q1 hopefully uh, according to Jeff so I'm just going to stay in the pits and actually hope for some better conditions as we progress throughout the session so I'll get out there with a, fa uh, a flying lap and we'll see how we do well here we come up to the line it's going to be an absolutely terrible lap where's it going to put us well, P20, five seconds off the pace. I mean, look at Russell. He's about to overtake us. I don't know whether the AI are just a little bit overpowered here or something. Um, or whether, you know, we're just genuinely slow. But we weren't this slow in practice, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense um, why we would be now. We're not going any real quicker, really, on this lap. So, come in. Fresh set of boots, see what we can do. Well, here we are, we're coming up to the line, only 1.2 seconds quicker. Still 20th. That's very disappointing, and I have no idea how we could have done any better. I really don't. But uh, Verstappen was quickest in the end, I don't know where the Hulkenberg was. Well, he was out in Q1 as well, so maybe. Not as slow as we thought. 1.5 seconds off the pace. But both Hasses out in Q1. That's not ideal. And a very warm welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix. An event that has decided a driver's championship 11 times over the years. And has hosted some very memorable races as well. Who can forget Kimi Raikkonen's win from 17th on the grid in 2005 or Kamui Kobayashi's incredible drive to a podium in 2012. 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant. And tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, 
We have Gasly, Hamilton, Lucas Faber, and Verstappen, Vettel, Perez, Rojan, and George Russell, Butler, Sainz, Lando Norris, and Albon, Raikkonen, Holkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, and Lance Stroll, Ricardo. They've taken a grid penalty and the captain. And now it's time to head down to the track. So here we are down on the grid. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. And, uh, well, we're starting right from the back of the grid. Um, just looking at the uh, five seconds slower to go soft than medium. But, um, yeah, we decided to take a brand new engine, a new gearbox as well. Uh, just while we qualified last anyway, we were going to start last or, you know, just move up the grid due to penalties. So I thought... Um, Actually, um, the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. Actually, getting a new power unit, new gearbox, just give us the best possible chance for the rest of the season. I thought that was the, the best thing to do, so that's exactly what we did. Uh, Hulkenberg moves up to 16th. Amazingly, George Russell uh, got into Q3, so I don't know what sort of uh, upgrade Williams have brought to this um, circuit, but I guess it was wet weather and some of the big hitters went out in Q1, including us and Hulkenberg, of course, and Ricardo's obviously moved down. So Russell qualified 11th, I think, um, by the looks of it. So very good performance from him. You can see Ricardo ahead. He's starting on the medium tyres. Might have been the way to go. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. As we go throughout this Grand Prix, I do get the feeling these super soft tyres or soft tyres um, aren't going to last very long. So it's just going to be a case of using them as much as we can in this first couple of laps and and then absolutely going for it after that. But uh, Weber up in fifth as well, very impressive from him. Uh, but hopefully we can... Put in a good performance in this Grand Prix and well that's going to be the end of this hot lap for us, annoyingly. So I'm just going to pull over to the side, uh, should be getting ready for the Grand Prix pretty much straight away. So we'll be moving to the grid, they'll be coming round, so there you go, there's Valtteri Bottas coming through with Charles Leclerc in second, Gasly third, Hamilton fourth, Weber fifth, Verstappen sixth, Vettel seventh, Perez eighth, Grosjean ninth and Russell in tenth, Butler eleventh, Sainz twelfth, Norris thirteenth, Albon fourteenth, Reichland fifteenth, Hulkenberg sixteenth, Magnussen seventeenth, Stroll eighteenth, Ricardo in nineteenth and here we are in twentieth position, so let's get ready for the lights. Lights out, away we go, and what a start that was. Cat-like reactions from the start. We unfortunately lose a bit of momentum there as we come into the first turn, but I can't believe how good a start that was. And Well, we have a bit of argy-bargy with Daniel Ricciardo. He's having a look down our inside. We sort of go a little bit wide here. Just struggling for grip at the start of this Grand Prix. I couldn't believe how uh, how good a start we had. It was cat-like reactions, but it sort of means nothing when you're this far down and you don't take advantage of it anyway. There's Hulkenberg up ahead. He's losing positions as well, so I think we're just really struggling at this uh, circuit. We're going around the inside of Stroll. And we're away once again. So up to 18th place, Magnussen around the outside of Hulkenberg. Oh, he's on the grass. Hulkenberg pushing him out wide. Magnussen stays on that inside line in the spoon curve. We go a little bit wide and Magnussen's through. So Magnussen up into 17th. Good move on Hulkenberg there. We've slotted in the 18th place. Not a good start for the Haas team so far. Ricardo has passed Stroll. And uh, he's now into 19th position, and he'll be on our tail.
going into the second lap as we come down into the chicane for the first time today not the best way line through there that we take but we get away with it and we start lap two here comes daniel ricardo he's having a look with the straight line speed advantage of that renault apparently well we're going down the inside of hulkenberg and we're through a little bit of contact but we're all right we're through for now but I think Hulkenberg will come back at us with DRS. But if we can catch up to Magnussen, we might be able to hold off. That's exceeding track limits, apparently. I think that's a bit harsh, considering we've lost time. And here comes Hulkenberg. Magnussen having a look down the inside of uh, Albon. Well, this is a chance to get Albon. He hasn't got DRS. And we're right in his slipstream now. We go over to the inside. And we're through. So we're up to 16th place now, which might not seem much, but considering where we started, that's not too bad. Tyres are feeling good. Seem to be able to push. We've got plenty of fuel in the car. Feeling all right so far. Well, here we come into the pit lane then for our one and only stop of this Grand Prix. And a load of other people are in the pits with us. Go, go, go. We're away in 2.4 seconds. It's a pretty good pit stop. We're going to come back out in 20th place, but just behind this group of cars who were battling for the points, so I don't think that's too bad. See these tyres through to the end now. It's just going to be a case of looking after these tyres, getting the best out of them, using this clear air while we've got it, putting in the best lap that we can. Well, there's Magnussen, so we really haven't made anything out of that. Although we are coming around the outside now. We managed to barge our way through, so up to 16th once again. I think Ricardo's still come in. He was on the medium tyres, remember? But I don't think he'll be much of a, a problem because we're on such fresher tyres, so... His strategy obviously hasn't worked, but uh, there is points in the distance, and we go get them. Well, this is the final lap of the race, and now we're making a move on our former teammate, George Russell. We go down the inside, and we're now up to 14th place, which isn't too bad from the back of the field. We're going to beat our teammate. Nico Hulkenberg and George Russell was of course running in the points at some points in this race and that's why we're so close to the guys in front he's held them up for this long and well we should be able to hold on to this and unless there's a big incident at the final turn which there isn't we're going to finish in 14th place, which I guess we'll take at the end of the day. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part for me. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for the safe.
So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the captain. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, well we did get driver of the day, but we finish in 14th in the end. Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz both fighting into the points. Uh, Perez in the points as well. Weber in 7th. Hamilton only 6th, which is interesting enough. Um, Bottas wins from Leclerc in 2nd with Gasly in 3rd. So that is going to be where we leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure... Uh, you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more uh, F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.